So, welcome. I, I went to this pose instantly. White people pose. Just instantly. I- <laughs> it's an instinct. I can't help it. Um, welcome to a very interesting kind of, uh, weird series I want to try out. I'm a little tired of having to wait such a huge time to edit these different videos of me just talking about how I feel about different stuff. And I wanted to make a series where it's very rough, it's very all over the place, and there isn't really much, if any, editing. Object wrapped. So, here we are. We have me, my co-host. Uh, oh, you can see really fucking well. I can't see. Like, physically, I can't see or whatever. You guys can. You can see... All those lovely fellas. If you can name all of them, you'll win a gift card giveaway. You won't. So, <laughs> so this episode is based on something that I'm really passionate about in BFDI A8. Overall, I thought it was an awesome episode. But Book and Ice Cube ruled this episode. I think not only did they just blow it out of the park with uh, getting their team back together, but Book's writing is something that is not only very accurate, but very interesting. So first things first, it seems that they're going for this kind of weird books, almost arguing with herself with this, uh, she's an inclusion handbook and she feels like she has to include people now and she's almost battling with her own definitions when she really doesn't want to but she's like we should because I am and that's what I should do. I really want to see where they take this. I think this could be something really interesting for her to kind of go through and make her a very detailed character. Could also give a bit more of an explanation between her huge character change and BFB. Um, but anyway, apart from all that there is stuff that really that really meant a lot to me this episode and it was seeing Ice Cube and Book again. Uh, seeing them, the dynamic duo and being the only two left on the Eiffel Tower uh, at the end of the challenge was something that to me these glasses aren't clean. These glasses never get clean. They're never clean. They're never clean. You never do your job Aiden. Um, to see them to work as such a team again. Uh, Book was really well written this episode and was a straight man as always. I actually called Pencil Out, which I would like to see a little bit more of. But Book and Ice Cube this episode were such a cool team. Like, swinging that uh, Eiffel Tower back and forth. It was such a cool... Uh, it was actually it was so cool to see the two kind of just work together to win a challenge. And they dominated it. I, I really think that those two uh, working together as a friend group is something we miss so much in Teapot. And I, I, I we haven't seen it really in BFDI either until now so I am really hyped to actually get into it properly and see what they have to do. Unfortunately I can't stay too long today because I have some voice acting to do and it's currently midnight so I need to go to bed but it is actually something I'm really I'm really happy with this episode in general. The jokes are on peak, uh, that car crash was fucking hilarious. I love BFDI and it's something it's so much better than episode 7 and one of the reasons I didn't enjoy episode 7 was out of the idea that it it did just feel like they ruined the characters by making them dumb for the jokes and it seems that they've definitely taken that criticism on board for episode 8. I think it's really really good. Anyway, object round. What do you think of it? I, I think it's silly but it was cute. What do you think of it? 